Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today I want to show you DaVinci Resolve 16. I'll tell you a bit what was happening here. But first, before I start, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more tutorials. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You're like my best friends. So, I was on a quest to find an image stabilization program better than Vegas Pro 18. Because in the early morning hours, I go out filming around my city. And lots of my footage is shaky because it's all handheld. And Vegas Pro 18 was not cutting it for image stabilization. I did find one program out there that was uh, $299 just to stabilize uh, video. And I said, that's not going to cut it. It's too, way too much money. So I did some more searching and I came across DaVinci Resolve 16. And I'm going to show you how it works here. So here are my clip I imported. Let's go to settings. Because there's no, it's a, it's a high, it's a high definition clip, 4K. This is the same one right there. Frame rate, no, it's wrong. Frame rate 97, playback is fine. Like so, right there, let's see. Okay, so let's go to the edit menu. Change the timeline. Let's go to Inspector. All I'm doing here, I'm not doing, showing this how the program works. I'm just doing this to show you the image stabilization in DaVinci Resolve. So go to Inspector. Double click Stabilization. This one, I want to make sure it's on in perspective. I want to stick camera lock. And I stabilize it. And I'll see you when it's done. Okay, we're done. Now, this bottom menu here, if you don't see this, go to Workspace and select Show Page Navigation. Now, I'm not an expert in DaVinci Resolve. I just started using this a few days ago. So, I'm still a newbie here. Okay, so now it's stabilized. Let's uh, export this. So let's go to Deliver. Let's call this image stable. Vinci. Let's try to target set right. Yeah, it's good. Here's the MV4. High definition, 97. Add the render queue. And I'll render it. So once this is rendered, we'll do a comparison of the original clip out of the camera. One from Vegas Pro 18 and one from DaVinci Resolve 16. And I'll show you the differences. Alright, here's the original clip out of the camera. Notice how shaky it is. It's shaky and wobbly. So let's try this in Vegas and see what Vegas can do. Okay, this is stabilized with Vegas Pro 18. Check it out at the top here. It's not doing a very good job using Professional in Vegas Pro 18. So it's not doing a very good job at all. So let's try DaVinci. Now this is stabilized in DaVinci Resolve 16. Look how stable it is. Check the building over here. Check up here. Solid as a rock. Just absolutely amazing. So in this test, DaVinci Resolve 16 is an absolute winner. So in conclusion, there's really no clear winner here. Vegas Pro 18 has its strengths and weaknesses, and so does DaVinci Resolve 16. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, so if you're having problems stabilizing video in one program, you may not have the same problem in another program. But that doesn't mean you have to ditch Vegas Pro 18. DaVinci Resolve 16 is 100% free. And the free version, you can get the paid version that has a lot more special effects. But Vegas Pro 18 shines when it comes to uh, a special effects. And you can do all kinds of special effects in Vegas Pro 18.
And the new version of Vegas Pro 18 that was just released yesterday. There's some actually some new cool features in there. I'll go over that in another video. So some new, it's some real new cool features in the newest build of Vegas Pro 18. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.